All right, everyone, welcome back. We are in northern Wisconsin. We are targeting crappies. This is a basin bite, and it's snowing pretty good. <laughs> I'm using my PC Front Isix Frost fishing reel, and so is uh, my wife. Same reel. And we're just using plastics and waxies on a really small tungsten jig, and these fish are just roaming out here. They're very active uh, later later in the season they kind of sit in one spot and you can hammer on them but we've had to move around quite a bit so should be a good video stay tuned <laughs> oh yeah that's pretty cool there's a freaking pile of them down there just lit on a big school here oh yeah that's a crappie her, her flashers lit up with fish Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Look at that one. <laughs> Look at that crappie. I told you. One second. Yeah, that's a good one. Here, get him, get him back down there. Because there's a whole freaking pile of them down there. Oh, man, he killed your, your waxy there. Freaking slab there. Look at that one. Holy smokes. What a freaking giant. I told her get back down there because they're... They're just roaming this flat here. I can barely fit him down the hole. <laughs> Freaking tank. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, right, buddy, hold on. He just went around the hole here. There he goes, right back down. That was insane. There's a wad of fish over there. I told her, I told her to come over here because I could see him. On the live scope, and uh, yeah, put this li live scope shot in there. I just kind of pan around, and you can see them there. You know, I'll bump the gain up a little bit of interference. You can see them there. There's a couple of them there, and they're already 60 feet away from us. You know, directly behind us, they moved off that quickly. So we just continue to hop around. It's, it works great with multiple people because one person can just kind of run the live scope. Uh, three people be great. One could drill the hole and the other one could get on them right away But it looks like from this Shot here. They're moving back our way, but they moved off that quickly. It's just kind of cool to see how they Just kind of roam around and it, the jigging wraps and tika minnows have not been working It's been a bug bite primarily any kind of plastic or waxy or spike has been what we caught these fish on You gotta be quick because they're gonna take off. They hear that auger and they take off. Yeah. This is the, yeah, this is a two-person operation. Look at there's a pile of them down there. Just a mess of them down there. You ain't gonna show up on the flasher, but all right, she's got another one. They're just kind of these fish are just flying around out here on the basin. Oh, it's a little guy. Yes, yes. I'm gonna try to get one here. Got one coming up. Oh yeah, I got him. <laughs> Smoked me. That's a crappie. I get my translucer out of the hole. Holy smokes. He, he wanted that. That's got a waxy and a clam plastic on there too. That's a donkey. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one there. Ooh -wee. It's hard. That's a lot of work. Sleep good tonight. We're just chasing them around this basin out here. Luckily, there's not a lot of snow. So that helps. That is a beautiful fish. We're going to have to get him back. Get this 12 and a half inch back. Another look at him. Big old northern Wisconsin crappie. There he goes. Right back down. All right, she got another one. All right, we are rolling. Oh yeah, oh, that's another big man. one. That's not oh. as big as the last one. Look at that jig just fell right out. Look at <laughs> nice little eater. 
There he goes. Pulled the pulled the cord. Is it running? Pull that out of the way for you. It's not doing anything over there. What is it? Bluegill? Nope. Yeah, you ice on your line there. The camera's all, all uh, wet. Come on, get him up here. Oh. It's a good one too. <laughs> on the top of the mound. Good job. Good job mm -hmm. with that little waxy. It's amazing. Wow. Yeah, very good. She just got this guy. We'll slide him back down. Super suspended. Here, give him a let him do his thing there. There you go. I don't even really get the fish. I gotta drill holes and we gotta drop on them because they're just cruising around out here. Hopefully this camera angle's okay. Yeah, that's not not very big. <laughs> you got all your bait though. Little guy, another crappie. Get him back. There you go. He used to see almost <laughs> dropped it right through him. There you go. Get him. Oh, no. oh he missed. He might not be very big. Let's see if we can get this on camera. Man, there's a pile of them down there. They gotta be crappie because they're way off the bottom. Maybe he robbed you. Yeah, it, I'll start pulling it away from him. There you go. Once you see them come up like that, you start pulling it away and they'll hit it. Ooh, that's a better one, maybe. Or maybe it's a bluegill. I don't know what that is. What do you, yeah? Oh, yeah. It's a better one. There you go. Ooh, and he just popped out, too. Look yes. at that one. Mm. That's probably like a 12 inch or so. 11, probably. Mm. Get her, get her back down there because there's, there's more down there. Look at them all. There he goes. Yeah, wait. Hold on. Sucked up. I can see that fish. Bring him up slow because I'm going to pull your transducer. All right. I think yours is rolling. Yep. Yeah. Freaking crazy. There's some big fish in here. Maybe this is the baby one, huh? Baby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's a good one. That's a good yes. one. Good job. <laughs> this guy, I want to say he's probably close to 13. Get him back down there. There he goes. I don't think I don't think he's that big, but it's hard to tell with this rod. He's digging. Ooh. My reel's making some funny noises. I keep setting it. Nice. Oh yeah. It's a donkey. Another nice crappie. I think the one you had was a big one too. another you know 12 incher black crappie sweet all right I'm gonna let this guy go let's get this you know 12 and a half incher there he goes <laughs> sweet Hooked up. Oh, 
fucked up now. I missed the first one, didn't want it, but the second one did. Not very big. He got all that. He really wanted that one. Little tungsten three, four millimeter J. <laughs> there were two marks and the first one didn't want it. The second one did. That's like a 10 inch probably. Nice fish. Release them. Right, so what we're doing, let's go over what we're doing. We're just using live scope and looking around, you know, 120 feet out looking for these Roman crappies. Some of them are individuals and some are like in small groups. They're not really schooled up yet. It still is early January. Just got a little bit of snow cover that helps uh, push these fish out. But yeah, we're just looking around. And when we find them, it's a two person operation. I'll drill the hole. She'll drop down her jig real quick. We even uh, will running a little split shot on there. We're running them three, four millimeter tungsten jigs, but the fish are moving through so fast, you need to get it down there as fast as you can. And that little bit of weight helps to get that bait down there in front of them before they move out. Come on, get it, come on. Gotta be a good one. Oh yeah. Hey. That's a freaking donkey. That's a freaking toad. That's a 13 and a half. Picks of him and get him back. <laughs> All right, a little adventure up here in Hayward, uh, chasing crappies around the basin. We really had to work for them. We did get a couple nice ones, like 12, 13 inches, but they're they're not sitting over the basin, suspended. They're kind of roaming around, so it's difficult. A lot of work, two-man operation. But appreciate y'all for watching. If you're not, please subscribe and stay tuned for our next video.